look at the three core symptoms of ADHD, what Russell Barkley calls the holy trinity of ADD. Distractibility, impulsivity, and restlessness or hyperactivity. Those are all pathological. Those are all things that get in your way. If, if you're too distractible, you can't pay attention. If you're too impulsive, you can't get organized. You can't stay on track. If you're hyperactive, you can't sit still. But teach, teach, turn each one of those on its head and you get a positive. And that's what characterized me. The flip side of distractibility is curiosity. And I've always been tremendously curious. If you're not curious, you won't care, oh, what's that out there, or oh, what's that over there? You'll just stick doing what you're doing. I've been, my whole life, tremendously curious. My uncle used to call me a question box when I was a kid. He'd say, enough, enough, question box, shut up. You know, because I couldn't stop asking questions. I've, I've always had this tremendous curiosity drive, if you will. And, and I think that's the, the flip side of distractibility. If you look at impulsivity, you know, that's bad. You get, you're impulsive. You don't know what you're going to do next. You know, you're a gun that fires without aiming, you know. And, and, and sure enough, impulsivity can be dangerous. But what is creativity but impulsivity gone right? You, you don't plan to have a creative thought. You don't say it's 10 o'clock, time for my creative idea of the day and lay it like an egg, you know. It, it's crea creative thoughts necessarily pop. They're impulsive, they're spontaneous. They depend upon your being somewhat disinhibited. You know, so, so that's the, up, the upside, if you will, of, of, of impulsivity. And then hyperactivity, you get to my age, 64, it's called energy. You know, I'm really glad I have it. 